Okay, so it's breakfast time here in the Espresso Kitchen this morning, and Moira has a great idea for a perfect weekend breakfast that is sure to be a crowd pleaser, whether it's friends, family, who name it. It's going to be a brilliant, brilliant showstopper, can I say? Ah, oh, hello, hey. you. Hello, Moira. <laughs> well, hello, look, Moira. Yes, it is, and you, this is something you could pre prepare the day before, yeah. and you just put it in the oven and bake it. Um, so it's you know it's, it has an advantage when you have got people coming around. And it's a good thing I love breakfast, day. Huh? I love breakfast, but it's not every day that oh, you, you get a nice decadent breakfast. I'll, I will most. <laughs> Definitely have a couple of these. Okay, cool. All right, so we're doing baked we tomatoes. Doing? Uh, not everyone likes tomatoes, so if you don't like tomatoes, try using green peppers or red yes. peppers and things like that. That's a nice but one tomatoes well. really good for. Normally, people have a grilled tomato with their breakfast, bacon, and eggs. Yes. So we combine Which is everything. Like the usual. We always yes. do it. And know? it's hearty. Yeah. So we're going to do a, ba a stuffed tomato, and we're going to serve it on um, an English muffin with some fresh rocket. And just an all-in-one all in breakfast. Sounds amazing. Let's yeah. get to it. So we've taken our baked beans okay. and the, the coup baked beans, which yep. really got lots of flavor. And the tomato sauce is really delicious. Okay. So we're going to take that. We're going to take the chakalaka because I like spicy. Yes. Um, I'm using the one with corn in, the coup chakalaka with corn. Yes. And because people love corn, sometimes corn fritters or something like that for breakfast. Exactly. Um, and this has got all the veggies. We just mix it in with the beans. All right. So I love and the fact that it's ready to use. You don't have to physically make it. No. I, and it's lovely. What I've done is I've just drained a little bit of oil off. Yes. Um, but you, you can see it just looks lovely. The colours are lovely. The flavours all there. You don't have to add an extra thing. No, yes. if you're doing it first thing in the morning, you don't not so sparky. Yeah. You want something very easy. That's it. That's right. it. So I've got some um, cooked bacon already. Okay. You could use ham. You could use prawns even if you wanted prawns instead of bacon. Or if you don't want meat, yeah. you could put in some sautéed mushrooms. Oh, man. But it just all takes right. it to a whole new level putting that bacon in there. Ah. Look at that. And then this is just some fresh basil. Okay. Whoops, I'm throwing it all over the place. All right, so that's your mixture. It's so got that's all the filling. Flavor. That's the filling. Okay. So that we're going to spoon into. Yeah. So basically, I mean, I, I can only assume that when you when you go for your tomatoes, try, try and get kind of one that's still nice and firm. Firm. Yeah. But you can use bigger ones as well. You okay. want it still to be nice and red. It will cook in the oven a little bit. So yes. you want something that will hold shape once it's cooked. Yes. You don't want to fill it too much because you still got to add an egg custard that'll set it. It's like a quiche without a quiche base, you okay. know, type thing. Yes. So you can see that. So if you want to carry on doing that for me, I'm sure. going to make the egg custard. Okay. So you say not too full. Not too full. Just okay. leave a little bit of space to put some egg in. Got Remember, it. it's egg, bacon, yes. and tomato for breakfast. So you need your egg, egg custard in there, so you your get extra protein. everything in a little tomato cup, That's I like it. it. So I've got my egg here, I'm going to put some milk together, and then I've got some cheese. Okay. Um, and then we're going to put that on the top, put it into the oven, you preheat your oven to 180. Yep. And then you put it into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until it's lightly brown on the top. Easy as that. And it's as easy as that. All right. Well, if you want to get your hands on the recipe, our keyword for this morning's little breakfast in a tomato cup is KU. SMS KU to 33728. We'll send you all of those details. You've Alternatively, you can log on to our website, expressoshow.com. You'll find everything there step by step. All right. Okay. Cool. So that looks great. And then what you do is you just put a little bit of egg custard on. You can put this into a, yeah. a jug okay. if you wanted to, to pour it over, or I'm just going to spoon it over. Make sure you get some of the cheese. Okay, so the cheese is in there, everything The cheese already. is in there, the salt and pepper, yeah. and just your eggs and milk. Yeah. So obviously the cheese will stay at the top now. That's right. And the egg will kind of soak into soak it. Soak in and, and hold it all together. Oh, nice. And I that's like it. it. It's, it's so easy to do and delicious. Oh, yeah, man. This is great. <laughs> I mean, this is like literally your whole breakfast that you would normally get on a plate just stuffed into a little tomato cup. I love it. So you can have like four of those. Correct. <laughs> so so this will go into the oven 15 to 20 minutes, a little bit longer if you want it a little bit browner, and then, then they finish. I think it's such a great idea. The keyword for this morning's little breakfast is uh, ku, isn't it? that to 33728 but hear those steps once again cut the tops off the tomato and scoop out the pulp mix together the baked beans chakalaka bacon and basil scoop the mixture into the hollow tomatoes mix together the eggs milk and cheese and season pour this over the chakalaka mixture and bake for 20 to 25 minutes for the full recipe visit the espresso morning show facebook page or log on to espressoshow.com SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. Ah, oh, and look at that fresh out of the oven. Look at that. The keyword is KU. SMS out to 33728 for a breakfast with a difference. 
So that you can, looks amazing. You can see it's very simple. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, once you slice it, all that moisture inside will go so well with the English uh, muffin and the and the rocket. And it's just a lovely, quick and easy breakfast. Breakfast in bed. And what I wanted eh? to tell you was when I took out the inside of the tomato, yes. I actually freeze the tomatoes. And people must, mustn't think that we're wasting tomatoes. Okay. You take that extra tomato and you freeze them and then you chop it up and you put it into your stews or casseroles. So you don't need to waste those yes. tomatoes. So you can do this and not worry about you know, having the expense. I like fish. that. Very conscious. Ah. We don't want to waste food. But no. this is great. I think this is such a nice great and pretty. different idea for breakfast. Great. Ah, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you for sharing with us this morning <laughs> that keyword once again, Coo to 33728. Try it out. And also, if you have any interesting breakfast ideas using Coo products, let us know. Email us food at expressoshow.com. We love to hear from you. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.